In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom LUT within Premiere Pro and use that LUT or lookup table uh, in OBS for your live streaming. So basically in the past, if you wanted to use some custom LUT within OBS, you had to go uh, through this long process, go to filters. And then once you get to filters, you add apply a LUT. Once you go to browse, OBS has some built-in color grading images, if I can say that. And what you had to do, you had to take one of the, these images, mostly the original one, take it to Photoshop or take it to Premiere Pro, and then kind of work on it, you know, take your sample uh, color grading or LUT, apply to it and export a still, which was a very, very long process but now you don't have to go through this process anymore i'm gonna need you to have the most updated uh, obs version so this is how you're gonna do it okay you're gonna record a clip of yourself uh using obs using exactly the same setting same lighting same white balance you know same scene okay obviously and what are you gonna do you're gonna take that sample clip that you have taken within Premiere Pro. As you can see, I have mine already taken and I have applied some color grading using the Lumetri uh, color. And as you can see, I'm in the color tab, okay? As you can see, if I turn off the color grading, you can see that the image is not the same. So I'm gonna turn it on, okay? And once I'm happy with the results, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and click and choose export that cube okay so as of now obs can take uh, the that cube files okay or lats and i'm going to save this lat okay so once we are done we're gonna go to obs as you can see i have my camera ready and i'm gonna right click and go to filters and i'm gonna go here under effect filters and i'm gonna click plus and i'll go to apply lat okay and what i'm gonna do just click ok and i'm going to browse and look for uh, the lat that i just created these are the original stills that come with the obs so no need to use those anymore what you need to do is you're gonna go to uh, where you saved it, your lat okay obs lat live stream that cube and i'm gonna click to it and click open and as you can see my lat is applied okay so now i can reduce the amount of lat that i want to be applied to my image but again i don't need to do it because i know this is what i wanted within premiere everything was perfect so this is me without the lat and this is me with the lat applied to the image the last example, if you are not convinced yet, I have a clip that I shot using my GH5 and I shot this clip in Vlog, okay, which is a very, very flat profile. And I have the clip right here playing, okay? And as you can see, I have added it within OBS. And then if I go to filters, you can see that I have applied this two filters. Uh, this is the two last that I applied uh, that I actually use when I'm editing uh, my vlog clips. And as you can see, this is the original clip. And if I add the two LUTs, as you can see, it becomes really, really good. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. So again, this is with no LUTs and this is with LUTs, okay? So guys, just to tell you that the sky is the limit, go ahead and create some amazing looking live streams and next time i want to see you live streaming on youtube and looking like a pro all right thank you guys for watching i appreciate you hanging out with me and make sure you hit like and subscribe and i am out